first of all, the issue that we're all addressing is that screenwriters are feeling angry and feeling depressed about the role we have in the industry. So what to do about it? And what I first of all tried to say is why is this the case? What has happened? Why is it that directors are seen as being the people who make movies? So you have the, the possessory credit, as it's called, a film by. We writers absolutely hate this. We feel that we have authored the film as much as the director. And why? how come the director has got into this position? How come it isn't the way it is if I write a play, which I also do? When I write a play, I have the biggest name on the poster. Nobody changes a word of what I've written without asking me. When I do a film, nobody's ever heard of me on that film. Everything I write can be changed. I can be sacked. The work isn't even owned by me. What has happened? How did we get ourselves into this situation and what can we do about it? That's what I was um, opening up for the whole day's discussions. And I think that there are various things that, that we have to understand. First of all, historically, um, film has not been a writer's medium. It's been a, a, an impresario's medium, a stuntman's medium. So if you go into film, you're going into a different world to the world of plays. Um, secondly, a lot of it's about money. Um, it's very expensive to make films. Why, what right do we have to ask people to risk a lot of their money on our vision? We want them to do that. I don't think we have the right to ask them to do that unless we're prepared to share that risk with them. And I offered that as one of the ways forward. As a writer, you can say, don't pay me. I am part of this operation and I will share in any revenue that comes at the end. And as we all know, a lot of films don't have any revenue. So if you're going to do that, you better have a private income or another means of, of making a living. But what can we do if we're, if we're not prepared to do that? How can we change the situation? Should we demand that we be treated differently? Should we go on strike? Should we become militant? I mean, there are a lot of people saying this kind of thing. I, I myself don't hold with that view because I sort of think nobody owes us a living. We've chosen to come into this world and we've got to hack it as best we can. So my line is slightly different. My line is we as writers should start to see ourselves as part of the filmmaking team. We are, if you like, co-producers. We're, we're with the... I don't mean technically co-producers, but you should be thinking, I should be thinking as a writer all the time, how am I going to get this film made and how is it going to succeed when it's made? So I should be open to changes. I should be open to anything about the budget that influences its chances of getting made. If I'm told we could make this film if it was $5 million cheaper, I'm going to be looking for those cuts. If I'm told this particular actor will help get the film made, I should be excited and interested in that. And if I take that view about my role in the film, I believe, and this has been my experience, I believe that the producers and the director, when the director comes on board, will want that writer by his side all the way through, all the way through the developing of the script, the shooting, and the cutting room stage. And that, frankly, is, is a much better way for a writer to be. But it involves a shift of attitude. It involves a shift away from saying, these are my enemies, these are the money men, and I am the artist. And I mean, I'm a money man as well, as a writer. I'm somebody who cares about that money, where it's coming from, and how it's going to be earned back. So it's a move, in my opinion, from the, the, the writer as child, if you like, who lets the parents take all the responsibility, but the writer, the child, just wants to be patted on the head. And move away from that to being grown up and saying, this is my enterprise as, as well as yours, and I'm in it with you. Now, somewhere along the lines there, there are all sorts of problems which haven't been resolved about do we get paid, how much do we get paid, what rights do we surrender for that pay. That's constantly shifting, constantly under negotiation, will continue to shift. But that, I think, is the territory we should be in. And then one last thing, the public at large are still unaware of what writers do. They dimly think that a writer writes a line of dialogue. I know that the writer creates the whole damn thing, creates the story, creates the characters. The whole edifice comes from a writer's brain. And I want the public to know that. And so I think all of us writers and everybody in the business should just be on a campaign. Write to the newspapers, tell every journalist you ever come across, notice the writer. Don't treat the director as the sole author. Unless the director's a writer-director, fine. The rest of the time, it's up to us. Why are we keeping so quiet about this? Let's shame everybody into realizing that there are such things as writers, and then maybe people will start tracking from film to film following writers, not just directors and not just stars. Uh, it, it's a dream, but I think it's achievable, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Very good. Thank you, Bell. And, and finally, could you do a, a soft plug for your uh, book uh, offering advice to, to new writers that may be coming out? 
I've uh, been working over the last um, year or so in between other things, just jotting down thoughts about the process of screenwriting because my experience is that people who want to get into screenwriting don't realise how the system works. They don't realise what the business is like. They, they don't know what they're letting themselves in for. I don't want to frighten people off. I just want to say this is the reality. So I've written a book that describes the process in enormous detail. It's called To Young Writers Who Dream of Hollywood. Um, I, I haven't yet sent it to my agent or, or indeed to a publisher. Um, it would only be a niche book, it's just for people like yourselves maybe who want to, to go into screenwriting. I don't think anything like this exists. It's not anecdotes about the famous people I've met, it's not tips on how to write a screenplay. It's about the psychological experience that you will go through, the roller coaster ride you will go through if you become a screenwriter. And believe me, if this is your chosen ambition, you need to know this. So. This book is going to come out. I don't know when. I've got to get to it. I've been very busy, but it will come out. It's quite short, and I think it's quite fun.